Hey guys, it's Bamdan UK here, and um, basically I'm going to be showing you guys how to move your Steam folder. Because basically, when you um, say you don't have a, no, say you have an SSD as your primary drive, okay, as your C drive, and um, you're going to be downloading all your games via Steam to your C drive because that's where you install Steam, probably. Okay, guys, uh, eventually that SSD is going to get slower and slower and slower because you're going to be loading up your SSD with all games and stuff. I mean, um, basically. You, you most likely want to maybe move the games to another drive, and uh, that's what I'm going to be really show you what, how to do, really. Okay, so first of all, you want to kill Steam completely. So you go to Windows Task Manager, you can go right click, start Task Manager, okay, and then um, find Steam.exe, end the process, and just click on process. Now that's completely closed, guys. So you want to locate your Steam folder, mine's in my um, F drive, okay, guys, so um, just click Control A, or you can just highlight them all. Okay, so you want to untick the Steam application, or it says application and just Steam, and also the icon. Also, you want to um, untick Steam apps because that's where all your games are held, etc. Okay, so now you just want to right click, delete. Yes, 33 rounds. Alright, okay. Guys, so now that's that's it, guys. Okay, so now you want to go back to your folder, go to Steam, go up, okay. So now you want to go to your, where you want to have it, so I'm going to have it in my D drive guys, okay? I put it in my D drive, so right click, paste, and then uh, it's going to load up here, so I'm just going to pause the video now and uh, come back when I'm finished. Hey guys, I'm back, um, and it's nearly finished um, transferring the files, I've downloaded quite a few games, um, so it's taking a little bit longer than I thought, but now it's actually in my local disk, however, I'm missing quite a lot of files, so... Basically, all you got to do is launch Steam, so just click Application now. And this is going to update Steam. It will literally take, I don't know, two three minutes, maybe a little bit longer, oh, depending on your internet connection. Uh, my internet's pretty fast, so it's already at 56%, 6%, etc. So you can see it doesn't really take that long. Uh, after this process, it will just ask you to log in as usual. Uh, you, won't, you wouldn't have lost anything, but um, there you go, let log into your existing account. So... Uh, log in. It it just doesn't really recognise you, so it's going to ask you to do this um, verification method. But um, I'll just pause the video now, and then I'll show you after this. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm um, just putting my verification code, and that's done. Um, they send you an email to ask you um, for your code, and there you go. Again, I've uh, got all the games that I had. Um, I never installed the single player because it's so crap. Um, so everything's fine guys, um, it's a few updates, I guess, or not, um, but, um, thanks for watching guys, I hope this helped you, um, as you can see, it's in the local disc C, I mean D, uh, and it's there guys, so, it's not going to affect anything, if I can just launch Steam there now, it won't change anything guys, thank you for watching this video, hope it helped, if it did help, please comment, or even leave a like, and if you're into this type of content, then go ahead and subscribe. Cheers, I'm out.